Hey everyone, I'm gonna try to make a an immobilizer relearn video for people that are uh, wanting to know what the process uh, involves, what you're gonna need to probably do, how to go through the sequences. What you're gonna need is your MDI-2, which mine's a clone from China. It's the MDI-1 and it's had the body, but it, it works for the immobilizer relearn. You're gonna need to make sure, uh, I charged up both of my batteries this morning Radio's off, doors are closed, hoods shut, everything's off um, to make sure there's no interruption in the power. I've got my truck set to run, not started, but to run. Uh, what else you're gonna need is the, the GM MDI manager. Basically, this is an app that lets you connect your device to the internet is basically all it does. So I'm gonna run through that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my MDI. When it does, you'll see it go through this sequence. There's on the vehicle. Now it's gone over, it's connected to the computer. It should go to the check mark. Then when it's done, you'll hear it beep. And then also, this light here will be lit up green, letting you know that it's ready to go. When you come over here to your app, once it's open, you'll see that everything's there. What you're gonna need to do is come down here and connect. Well, you might have to click on it. Click on it so it highlights blue and then uh, connect. You see the check mark, all right? Next, what you're gonna have to do is come up here to the top. You'll see the uh, network services. All this is going to do, I'm already connected to the internet because I already went through it to make the video go faster. But uh, it's to connect to your internet. You'll come over here. A bunch of internet providers will, uh, your Wi-Fi stuff will pop up. You'll pick the one you want. You'll come over here to configure. And that will allow you to uh, put your password in for your Wi-Fi. And then once it's all done, if it reads it, you'll get the check mark. And then, like I said, it'll have the... Uh, little bar graph letting you know that you connected the internet. That's all this basically does for that. Uh, from here, you're gonna wanna go to your AC Delco. When you go to your AC Delco, uh, you're gonna wanna, uh, you're gonna wanna run as administrator. The uh, program has some software that's got to download and for some reason if you're not running as administrator sometimes it doesn't allow you to uh, to go through the whole sequence so it's better to run it as administrator then you don't have to worry about it all right i'm going to go to the ac delco page here once i get it so you're gonna have to create an account I've already got one, so I'll log in here. It's gonna ask you to accept. All right, I've already got my uh, $40 subscription. So you can see on mine, it already shows that the uh, vehicle program software already have my, my one active um, for 24 months. So I'm gonna go over here to view. You can see I've already got my VIN in. It might ask you to type in your VIN. Um, but what you would normally do if yours isn't there is you'll go down here to the add a VIN, type this in, and then follow the prompts from there. All right, just bypass these little warnings. You're going to want to go over here to the SPS. All right, this is just giving the warning. Now, I did download the Java 32-bit. I had to actually Google Java 32 bit, find one and download it. I don't know if I needed it or if the 64 works. It says to have it, so I did it. So if you're trying to do this and you're having issues, you might want to try to Google Java 32 bit and download it to your, your PC or your laptop. All right, from here, you're going to start the SPS. All right, it's going to ask you, hopefully, I don't keep putting my finger in there and I'm not trying to watch the screen of my recording. You're going to keep. All right, downloads pretty quick. All right, run. 
run. Now right in here is where you'll have the issue if you didn't run as administrator. So just something to keep in mind. If you're not getting past any of that stuff, it's probably because you didn't run as an administrator or you didn't have the 32 bit. All right, from here, you go up to your tool, click next. All right, this is just telling you all the stuff that I've already pretty much told you. All right, I've got a Chevy 2018. Make sure you use the LD truck MPV. Silverado is what I got. All right, now when you get to this screen, what you're gonna have to do is go back to your MDI. Let's see if I can do it here. Disconnect it from the internet. Once you do that, you'll be able to connect this one to the internet. All right. All right, you can hear that it's communicating. All right, make sure all your, that's my VIN. Make sure all your information's correct. All right, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna scroll down here. Immobilizer relearn. Next. You can read through all that stuff when you're doing it, but uh wait for it. All right. I'm gonna do the top one. I'm already using my existing keys. Next. All right, turn the vehicle off. Now, pretty much from here. You just follow the prompts. The purpose of my video was to try to get you to this point. From here, there's lots of videos online that already explain this part of it. Basically this, you're just sitting here watching these, these countdowns. If you've made it this far, you're pretty much, you should be good to go. What I was having trouble with when I, when I was trying to figure this out was the initial, all the stuff you have to do to set it up prior to be able to get it to function, to make it to this point. Um, so I'm not going to keep recording any further from here. You just follow the prompts and then when you're done, that should be the end of it. Um, hopefully this might help some other people out. I know a lot of people are asking about it. I'm um, trying to figure out how difficult it is. There's videos online of how to do a mobilizer relearns of the L5P, but they're just showing this part here. And like I said, once you get to this part, you should be able to figure it out anyways, because it's just following the prompts, turning the key off, turn the key on, opening the door, whatever it tells you to do, just go ahead and do it. So uh, hopefully this helps somebody. Hopefully this doesn't screw anybody else up. Just so you know, I'm not any kind of a mechanic. I'm not a programmer. I'm just a novice that try to figure this out by myself to hopefully help out some other people. Um, enjoy the video. Any questions? And mainly if I have missed anything or done anything wrong or done any extra steps, the guys that do this all the time, uh, let people know. You can post on here and I'll... Uh, if I have to, I'll make another video, but uh, hope you enjoy it. It's 32 this morning, so it's going to be nice to have my remote start tomorrow.